you are heartbroken, confused and asking yourself, how could they move on so fast? They dumped you and before you could even process what happened, they are already rebounded to a new relationship. It feels like you meant nothing to them, right? Like they've replaced you and you're stuck feeling worthless. But here's the truth. Their rebound, it's not about you. It's about them. Their insecurities, their neediness and their inability to face life alone. Rebounding isn't a sign they've moved on. It's a sign they're running away and an addiction to a fleeting dopamine high. Around 50% of my breakup recovery clients have been on the wrong end of a rebound relationship after being dumped. Unless you understand the rebound is about their shitty values and their low self-esteem, you'll stay stuck in the pain, blaming yourself for something that was never your fault and worse, you will let their actions define your self-worth. But I'm here to help you see the bigger picture. Why does the dumper keep falling into rebound relationships? What's really going on in their head? And how can you break free from this heartbreak for good? My name is Nick and this is The Love Fix. If you need more than this video can provide, there are links in the description to my one-to-one -one coaching services, my book and my Facebook group. Without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Being on the receiving end of a rebound relationship can feel like a punch in the gut, especially when someone you love so much moves on quickly to someone else. It's natural to think, how could they just forget me and move on so fast? But let's dig a little deeper into what's really going on. In my experience with coaching dumpies through their breakups, I've seen a common pattern among the dumpers who rebound quickly. These people tend to have needy personalities they rely on others to validate them because deep down they don't know how to validate themselves. In simple terms, they don't know how to be happy or fulfilled on their own and that's a key reason why they jump into rebound relationships. It's not about replacing you, it's about avoiding themselves and that is why most rebounds fail spectacularly. More on that coming up in a few minutes. Let's break this down further. People with needy personalities are driven by need-based emotions. They need someone to validate how they feel. They need someone to make them feel important or worthy. And when they are suddenly alone after a breakup, that emptiness becomes overwhelming, even when they are the dumper. It's important to know that breakups are just as emotionally jarring for dumpers, only they typically experience the pain pre-breakup when they feel their investment in you isn't working. So what do they do? They quickly latch onto someone else, anyone who can fill that void. And this is why you see them move on so fucking fast, often without a real connection. It's not about love, it's about escaping their own pain. They are auditioning the new person to serve one main purpose, boosting their self-esteem and covering up the emotional wound left from their breakup with you. You see, a rebound isn't built on a solid foundation. It's built on fear, insecurity and neediness. The dumper isn't running towards this new person. They are running away from themselves. And that's why rebounds tend to happen over and over again for these type of people. And this is why they are so addictive. Now, here's something important to understand. That rebound relationship, it's not a reflection of your worth. And it's definitely not about anything you did wrong. If your ex moved on quickly, it's because they are running from their own emotional issues. It has nothing to do with how good of a partner you were or how much they loved you. What they're really trying to do is to avoid dealing with their own pain and insecurities. That new relationship is just a distraction from the reality they refuse to face. It's little more than a low hanging piece of fruit. And if you don't recognize this, you will stay stuck for a very long time. You will keep thinking there was something wrong with you and that's not only unfair but also untrue. The rebound isn't about you, it's about them. So will this rebound relationship last? It's highly unlikely. Here's the reality. Rebound relationships are usually built on shaky ground. Sure, they can look happy on the surface and through the manufactured happiness shown on your ex's social media. but Deep down, there's no real emotional foundation. A relationship that's built on the fear of being alone or the need for validation can't last. It's like putting a band-aid on a broken leg. 
the real problem is still there and eventually it will resurface. So while you are wondering if they're going to live happily ever after, understand that most rebounds crumble once the excitement wears off and the dumber has to face their unresolved issues. It's little more than a cheap, unsustainable dopamine high which is highly addictive. Dopamine can give pleasure in the moment and dull the pain for a short time, but it cannot provide long-term contentment and happiness. But here's the most important part. This isn't about them, I reiterate. It's about you. If you keep focusing on their rebound and whether it will last, you will stay stuck in your own heartbreak. The key to moving forward is understanding that their actions are not a reflection of your value. Our job now is to focus on healing yourself, reconnect with who you are outside of the relationship, build your own life experience and learn to validate your own emotions. This is how you regain your confidence and in time you will be in a better place emotionally than you were before the breakup. And when you understand that their rebound isn't about you. It really, really isn't about you. You will finally be able to move forward and start living for yourself. Remember, rebounds may look like a fast fix, but they are not built to last. Don't let their actions define your worth. Focus on your recovery because that's where the true healing begins. Rebound relationships deny us the gift of a breakup, the gift of healing, the gift of rediscovering who we are. It prevents pain from doing its job. It's a pain like no other, but it's not there to hurt us. It's there to teach us, and that is something the dumper is either unwilling or unable to do for themselves. Being able to get through a Friday or Saturday night on your own with a feeling of contentment is a superpower rebounders will never have unless they embrace the pain like you are doing. So, you feel worthless because your ex did and said, hurtful things. You feel like you meant nothing to them because they moved on so quickly. I hear you. I've totally been there and it is a savage pain. But here's the thing. People do shit all the time that has nothing to do with your worth or your feelings. Your ex's actions reflect their low self-worth, their low self-esteem, their shitty values. So if you are asking, why did my ex do this? Try not to make it about you. Try to realign your thoughts too. They are who they are. They said what they said. They did what they did. Their shitty values do not reflect my self-worth and what I bring to the table. Their decision to leave is your opportunity to grow. Their actions are your lucky escape because this shit was always inside of them. Them leaving unshackles you to expand your life and your world. Thank them for showing you who they truly are and be repulsed by how you now see them. If you are still struggling after listening to this, there are some other videos popping up on your screen now that I think can help you. It's going to be okay. You are enough and I will see you on the other side.